I opted to do the second half of this video with photos instead of video because video just wasn't picking up the background light and um, really showing it a lot darker than it actually is. Um, and even the camera isn't showing um, but maybe 70, 70, 75 percent of the light that um, the human eye can pick up. So that was the walkway there. This is um, a shot of the kitchen. Um, with the overhead uh, stove light on, uh, you can easily, you know, use something on the stove, cook there, uh, use that portion of the counter. Um, this is with only the night light on, not the overhead uh, LED light on. And again, there is a plenty of light there to get a drink or uh, rinse out a cup or whatever. Uh, this is going into the basement. Um, this is that funky light that uh, <laughs> kind of has a small power uh, source running to it that stays on all the time. Um, when it was off and now when it's on as you can see it completely illuminates the entire uh, stairwell going to the basement so um, very pleased with the performance of it in that position um, this is uh, a shot of the, one of the hallways in the basement leading into the laundry room um, and this is the other side of the same hallway and it, everything's illuminated just fine I mean it's not the brightest light in the world like a hundred a hundred watt you know traditional light bulb would be but um, it, this is fine uh, this is the largest section of the basement and that's a very dark corner in the back there but even even so you're still able to see into the back um, this here is the direct area beneath the light Ob obviously that's the most illuminated um, we have a dartboard back here uh, a small spare refrigerator um, a kids dartboard a poster um, ping pong table down there every everything's easily seen and when we have all the lights on um, I only have partial partial of the lights lit uh, everything is very very visible this is the living room upstairs uh, one side of it here's the other side of it again all these little one and a half watt light bulbs there's I think there's four of them on at this time when I took this picture um, this is the hallway with one single LED bulb and this one as compared to the rest of them in the house has a globe over it so um, it kind of spreads that light around quite well I like that um, this is our youngest daughter's loft bed she's able to lay in bed tonight and read a book um, with just that little light bulb um, they, they really perform well when they're shining at the ceiling um, like these two here in, in the master bedroom um, the entire room is fully lit it's, it's very um, pleasant. Uh, this is outside. I forgot that I had also replaced the RV lights with LED and uh, this is twice as bright as the original light that was on the outside there. Um, as you can see the inside is very very illuminated and these are all um, also the shape of the typical little 12 volt lights. Um, they're very small and round like the shape of a regular light bulb but they're LED of course. And you can tell that too because of the, the very bright white instead of the soft warmer yellow color that's the the back room there so as you can see um, uh, we're quite pleased uh, with transferring everything over to these so uh, thanks for watching and let me know what you think um, oh yeah also um, one of these bulbs goes for um, probably about three or four dollars to start for cheap this is the kind that we have here um, they have some that start anywhere from ten to fifteen dollars that are equivalent to a hundred watt light bulb they also have them in um, shapes that are uh, very close to the original uh, light bulb like I mentioned in the first video um, so you can really get these um, uh, there, there's no reason you can't switch over and lose out on anything. I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. Um, there's there's nothing to lose. There really is nothing to lose. Um, I'm very glad that we invested in these. And uh, if anybody has any questions, just um, you know leave a comment below or send me a message. Thanks for watching. Bye.